Right, a bit more mailbag. So uh, hopefully some of these items here are for the Lancer Storm building. Um, we'll see. Right, so let's get started. Oh yes, okay. I purchased this when my house flooded, so um Oh it comes with battery, awesome. Let's have a look at this, eh? So a quick look to hook it up and get it going. Battery, I'm surprised. Let's uh, get into this. Very quickly have a quick mess around with it. Uh, I bought this from oh, it was AliExpress or Bangalore, which one I got it from. One of them. I use them both. Banggood links, which I use. Um, if I, if you see Banggood links in, in my descriptions on my videos, please use them because uh, I actually have a affiliate link with them, so I actually get um, credit on my account. So, basic moisture meter. Very complicated manual. Brings it a bit closer, you can see, hopefully. Yeah. You can pause it and have a look if you want to read anything particular. I am not reading any of this, so I'm just going to turn it on and have a go. All right. Right. Seventeen percent moisture is me. <laughs> So the idea of this is you stick into something you need to check the moisture content of and see what it comes back as. Uh, it has a hold function. Let's see if I can test it. Hold on. Okay. So that's the moisture content of the framing in this garage right now, which was flooded. So it's fine. So yeah, that's right. That's right. It's uh, carry on. Cool. So now I've got one. Could be handy when I'm checking stuff with the house when it's being repaired, checking the quality of things that's going on, for example. Okay, I'll pause this for a second. All right, next thing. Again, I'll, if I remember, and if I have time, I'll put links in the description. Um, all right. Alarm cable. Six core cable for uh, 30 meters there, so I need to have hooking up the alarm system when I finish building it. We have a very small strobe unit, All right? So, on a strobe unit, so let's just have a look at these. One well, quite compact, you know, not too intrusive, you know. Um, Also ordered a massive siren, or well, a couple of sirens, which we're going outside, which are extremely loud. Um, these will do a little bit, but let's just hook this up to power and see how loud it is and see how it goes. Uh, what do you want? 12 volt probably. Let's just change this around. Get the power supply set up right. 12 volts, I'll do. Now, I think those to a something else. Does it say what the wiring is? Hmm. Oh, look at a bit of paper. Here we go. This is from J Cars anyway. 110 dB, so it's not massively loud, but it's it's all right. So common. So red is siren, white is the strobe, and green is LED display. LED display. Okay. Um, DC 6 to 15 volts, so that's fine. So let's stick that on the common, let's see what we get then, shall we? Uh, so red is siren, so I'm sorry guys, this is going to be loud. If I turn the power supply on, it'll be loud. Yeah, okay, not that loud. Not to me anyway. Um, so green is LED display. Really? Is that all? Okay, and white is strobe only. 
So, okay. So I actually need to do hook up one wire to do dual um, strobing and um, and siren. Now those are actually just LEDs, not just strobe lights. They're just LEDs that flash. So it's not as bright as I'd like it to be. Strobes give it a lot more, um, um, have a lot more impact. But hey, it's you know, it's something just to brings a bit of attention to it. So and it's quite small, so it's quite nice and easy to mount in a nice tight space, you know. Um, so that's cool. That's simple enough. 110 dB, not loud enough in my opinion. Um, but uh, you know, it's it's. In addition, I've got a massive siren I'm going to be having as well. So, okay, the other thing that came with the JCAR package is this little keypad. It's a four x three matrix keypad. Um, it's really relatively inexpensive. I mean, I could probably get them cheaper from China directly, um, but I wanted to do this quicker rather than you know waiting months, potentially months, for things to arrive. So, so you actually see the circuit on the back there, hopefully. Close enough, maybe you can see the traces on there. Um, just think look around. Yeah, definitely matrix keyboard. So um, this will be hooking up to my unit, which I've I'll actually show you it. I'll show it now. I'll think about it. This is it. Okay, so this Pro Mini here, that is the actual alarm, and this is when I spark fun serial LCD modules, and um, I've reprogrammed the Arduino in here. To handle the keypad as well, so I'll be wiring a keypad onto this. Um, so all I've actually got to supply to this, so I've got one more wire on because it's only got RX, so I need to do TX back to the Arduino um, or to Prime Mini. And um, so I want a keyboard to this. This handles the keyboard and all the LCD stuff originally, it's so still there, all that code. And um, so I've interfaced the keyboard stuff onto it, and that will then send serial back to the Pro Mini. So the Pro Mini controls the display and the keyboard gets fed back to the Pro Mini as well um, through serial interface so even if this will get smashed and destroyed by someone breaking into the house the alarm is still going to work because this is the brain which is going to be a long way away from this <laughs> so anyway that's the plan so this is going to go against that so I've got to get a, um, make a box up and, and put those into a box like so and um, then I've got my a, a keypad for the alarm system this is mostly working. I'm just fine tuning the code now and just adding features and stuff to it. But uh, anyway, I may or may not show it as a project, but being a security thing for my place, it's probably not something I'm going to show. Um, I may or may not. Who knows? Um, right, last thing. Very flimsy cable box, so it's definitely from China. Although I purchased it locally. Right. Talk about AU. Yes, yeah, so that's, that's right. I've obviously just purchased it from a reseller, which is fine. Um, so this is a 24 volt charger. Um, now, because I'm currently, because of the house being flooded, and not being living it, I'm living in a motorhome, which is plugged in the power, but it doesn't, it doesn't charge up the um, the house batteries on the bus, right, on the motorhome. So the um, so all the lights run off the batteries, but obviously got the mains going in there, which is running power points stuff on that. But, um, the batteries still being drained in the evenings because you got the lights on. So I wanted to hook up this little charger onto the battery system to. Uh, Keep the batteries topped up when the power's on when they're plugged in the power. So it's never been to do for a while, but it didn't really worry about it because we didn't normally be plugged in the power anyway, so it wasn't really worth the effort. But because we're looking at months of this, I want to maintain the batteries properly and keep them in good condition by not repeatedly draining them every day. Right. Um, so I'm going to use this. What's your temperature sensor in here? Um, or something. It's interesting. So nice plug. Cock leaves. Just basic cock leads, nothing particularly special about those. 
fairly thin metal. It's only low current charger. Um, it does one, two, or four amps. It's just a trickle charge. So all it's got to do is not got to do any heavy duty charging. It's just got to make up for the lights being used, you know, which only draws a couple of amps anyway. So um, this will just help to keep on top of that. And it's, it's compatible with various batteries and stuff like that. So uh, um, AGM wet cell gel. So I might plug this in actually to see what comes up on the display. Um, it may not do anything because there's nothing connected. So we look. The power over here. Plug it in. Okay, get it plugged in. There we go. It's a bit tight. It's brand new power ball because we lost a whole bunch of them in the flood. So. Right, I don't even see that, but it says gel and 4 amps. Probably can't see it because the lighting is turning these lights off. Um, there you go. So, wet AGM. So, it does all this various testing on the battery as well to see what condition it's in, obviously, based on voltage only. So, uh, it's made. To, uh, was it March? No, sorry, April, May, May 2007. Um, it's got a correct voltage, so it says 220 volt, we're here with 240 volt, but it probably doesn't matter that much. Um, it's supposed to be a 10% tolerance of voltages anyway. And yeah, well, it says 6 to 40 amp hours. <laughs> uh, hmm. Well, my batteries are about 300 amp hours, so, but it's only trickle charging, it's not going to be doing a lot. It's just, it's just there to keep them topped up. It's not, it's not expected to work very hard. Okay, so that's the videos. Um, that's it for now. Don't forget to subscribe and give us thumbs up and that sort of stuff. Bye.